school is almost 100 years old. What makes the alumni experience so special for you all? Well, you know, for as an alum, it's just a special experience because once you're, you're just part of this community, like it's mm -hmm. an instant family. Um, and it just, Father Ryan gives back so much in different ways to stay connected to this group, whether it's through different events, sporting events, um, gatherings of everyone together. It's just a great way to keep in touch and you know, you always feel that Irish for life you know, motto. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, I love that. What about for you, Stephen? Yeah, I always tell families who are considering sending their kids to Father Ryan that um, you think of it as a four-year commitment, but it really ends up being a journey for life. Um, every day throughout my professional career, um, it's hard to not interact with somebody who uh, has something nice to say about Father Ryan or maybe an alumni themselves. Well, in fact, it, it convinced you to stick around. You came to Nashville for high school and you never left. So it clearly had a good impact. There are more than 11,000 alumni from across the entire globe. And I know some of them have really made an impact in our community as well as others. Who, who comes to mind when you think of notable alumni? Yes, absolutely. So a few that come to mind, John Sigenthaler, class of 45, a longtime editor of the Tennessean. Mm -hmm. Um, we have Russ Wigington, who is the president of the Civil Rights Museum in Memphis. Uh, Father Charles Strobel, who is the founder of Room in the Inn. Um, we also have Scott and Brent Hunt from Hunt Brothers Pizza. And last but not least, um, we have Caroline Cole, who is a musician and who was just recently on or may still be on American Idol. Yeah, yes, she, she was great. Her. She's oh, so yes. sweet, <laughs> so incredible. I mean, from Nashville architects to nuclear engineer and foreign affairs officers, you have so many inc incredible alumni. You're about to celebrate a 100th birthday. What are the plans for that? Yes. So. Um, the fall of 2024 is when we'll be celebrating our 100th. We have several events planned um, and different recognitions planned throughout that time. And um, really, it's going to be our time to highlight our alumni and all of the differences that they have, not, that they have made, not only within the school, but also our local community and the nation. Yes. Stephen, I'm asking you on the spot, <laughs> what is the biggest lesson you've taken away from Father Ryan? Um. I think it's just, it's really important how you treat people. Um, as soon as you walk into the doors at Father Ryan, you immediately feel like you're a part of uh, a larger family. Um, it, you know, we have a strong tradition of faith, knowledge, and service, and you feel that every day while you're a student, and then also every day as an alumni, as you go through uh, real life. Oof, lessons for life. Are your children going to attend Father Ryan? Absolutely. <laughs> That's the what, plan. About, what about you? We do have a few seconds left. What's the biggest uh, lesson you've learned, Sarah? You know, I really feel like Father Ryan has shaped me to, for who I am and really, you know, has shaped my faith, mm -hmm. my education, and has really kind of brought me to where I am today. Mm -hmm. Love it. Beautiful. Thank you both so, so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. We want to remind you to check out Father Ryan High School. You can go to fatherryan.org for more information.